So if I go here, change you over to like a regular infantry division, how much worse are they? The only real difference is that they need um, more infantry equipment, more horse equipment. I mean, we are a net bonus. We can maybe just remove all of our light infantry entirely. Can you do anything? A guerrilla fighter. Sure. Let's make you better in any ways you can. Actually, uh... That lowered your total maximum, which is excellent. We'll put you in charge here, I guess. There we go, just one infantry division. Yeah, sure, why not? So, what do we want to do? 1937, it's April. Marine divisions. Artillery's in 1936. Let's go for the next level of uh, battle plan here. There we go, beautiful. The Mexican Junta has declared war on Mexico. So, nice Mexican Civil War is going on over here. The Mexican Junta is... I mean, they're about even in terms of numbers, but... We'll see how Mexico actually does with that. Rent controls. I'm trying to make sure, like... The songs we're playing aren't, like, copyrighted. I don't know if Flight of the Valkyries is. It's on the Hearts of Iron 2 stay on track. We're close to getting here. All the naturals run to friend them. So I'm gonna again I'm gonna save scum a little bit. There we go. We're now a fascist. We're now this dude. A million. Where's million? Does that remove anti-German sentiment? No, it doesn't. Macedonians are here. So what do I need to justify war? I can just justify war like right away. It costs a million political power though. So it's like 130 days to get our claims on Bulgaria. Which is a long time. That's that's like too much time because then G Bulgaria just put all their troops on this border. Which of course is not what I want them to do. Move this. Propaganda efforts. So basically, you don't do anything anymore. I mean, I guess you are giving us more stability and war support. That's not too bad. We still have the anti-German sentiment. I mean, Italy loves us. Huge increase in opinion, plus 100. Germany's kind of eh about us. We're trade partners. Similar ideology. A ban is neutral foreign policy. Fantastic. Get rid of your neutral foreign policy. Does that lower this price at all? No, it doesn't. So it's still take 130 days. We probably just need uh, world tension to go up. Japan declaring war on China does fix that. And Bulgaria immediately starts putting more troops on the border because they're more and more scared of us. The Chinese. Is anyone else in the Chinese in the front? front? No, it's just China. And are worth uh, Japan at the moment. So what do we want to research now? So I think now is a good time to start improving military again. Just a little bit ahead of time on that. So again, it's like mid 1937. Let's get extraction one and two. Weekly stability goes up, political power gain. Declaration of neutrality, absolutely not. Under no conditions will that happen. I mean, I could probably send some volunteers to Spain. 
You need at least 45 divisions? Who in the world has 45 divisions? Normally you need like 20, I think. Not 45. That's a bit much. It's too rich for my blood. The Chinese United Front has formed. Only an 11% uh, world tension right now. Yeah, so Mao has uh, allied himself with the Chinese with uh, Chun Kai Sek. They'll all try to defeat the Japanese. We'll see how well they do. Hopefully, the Japanese win because again, they will actually join the the Axis. I just want my anti-German German military sentiment to go away. That'd be really nice. Let's expand the mining industry because you know it th th goes away. It goes away. Everything will be all nice and well. I mean, they haven't done the Auschwitz yet, so they because they haven't annexed Austria, we're pretty safe for now. And again, my biggest worry is just, hey, I don't want to be annexed by Germany. I don't want to like demand Slovenia and stuff like that from us, which is just rude. So all of my troops here, uh, all of you are just going to switch over to regular infantry divisions. And that's fine. You as well. You switch over to a uh, regular infantry division as well. We'll keep the light division template around, but we're probably not going to really use it that much. I'm like definitely not going to use garrison templates. Apparently, we also need more support equipment. So let's put another factory into here. Yeah, so we got a 90% bonus in that province, which is quite nice, I would say. Like, look how many open fa uh, factory slots we have. Yugoslavia can be an absolute monster. Uh, if we start uh, mobilizing out more. So maybe we actually want some more civilian economy factories. Uh, we'll build some more. Just like crank them out in the, the Madia. And we'll just we'll militarize the shit out of Yugoslavia. And hopefully everything goes well. I think that might be the entirety of the Bulgarian army. So it costs you 99.2 political power. It, it's going down slightly every time something happens. But not by, like, that much. So if somebody wants to just do something crazy, Italy must be contained. Are you going to declare war in Italy? Oh, no, you're actually just going to get naval dockyards. Uh, Germany is definitely the greater threat. Uh, I don't know if you know that or not, but... Really good to build more naval dockyards. You're, France, you're just asking for a bad time. I mean, to be fair, Germany's only, um... They haven't really done that much. Three to five days. You're all a little bit ahead of time, so it'd be nice to save you until you are ready for 1938, so we can make the most of the bonus. Do we need marine divisions? Will that actually matter that much for us? Because who are we actually going to be navally invading? Like, maybe we do like naval invasion to like southern Turkey if we if we attack into them, but really that's about it. They only five eight divisions. Turkey, what the hell are you doing? Um, it's only five eight divisions. I might just I'm not even going to worry about that. Let's get some radios for support battalions. Do we have how many radios do we have right now? Uh, we have seventy-one. I mean, it's not a ton. One hundred seventy-three days for that. Uh, two hundred days so we get all our infantry equipment uh ready to go. But you know, improving our infantry is just good. Yeah, that's going to be the entirety of the Bulgarian army. So we got three, six, eight, ten divisions. Apparently at 15 and 20, so I'm guessing there are probably still some more troops somewhere else. And more political power. Germany, just do something like take over Austria. Just something that'll boost world tension a little bit. Just ever so slightly boost our world tension up. Okay, you've taken it down by a single day. That's not that 
much, but sure. Also, is there ever a reason to, to claim more than one state? Because you just annex it right away. So it doesn't really seem like it actually matters that much. There we go. We'll declare war on Sofia. The Russians demand Karelia. I'm sure um, Finland is probably going to refuse that. Yeah, I'm almost questionable about Guarantee Sovereignty. Who do they think they are? And they're also trying to claim Best Arabia. The Soviets are trying to really push their uh, influence in many directions at the same time. I'm not going to join the Axe yet because we still have our anti-sentiment. You know, let's actually get the three civilian factories. So we can build our military factories up faster. Okay, so Romania has ceded Best Arabia. Finland has rejected the Soviet demands. And they claim Best Arabia. Which is a little bit worrying. You know, Soviets are getting a little bit too close to our front line for our liking. Dude, oil. Like, can uh, Italy make their own faction invite me in it? I don't know why it's giving me the events to, uh... Yeah, now they're just going to annex all these territories. So maybe they got the molotov Ribbentrop Pact. That's probably what has happened. If I had to take a guess. Yeah, manpower is still an issue. They're still volunteer only, so maybe we'll get our way to limit conscription so we get back up to 150 political power. Will that happen before the war begins? I doubt it, because I think the war was 120 days. So if you can see they actually have 16 divisions on our front line right now. You're not feeling confident about this right now, are you? A large river crossing, but that river crossing... Is there a large river crossing? I mean, I see a river here. I see this river. But I do not see another river at all. So I'm not too sure what you're worried about. I mean, there's some mountains. I can understand if you're upset about the mountains, but being upset about a river that might not actually even exist is a little bit silly. So the Soviets actually took over uh, Lithuania before Germany could get Memel. So that could actually maybe theoretically lead to war between the Soviets and Germany like really early. Again, theoretically, I'm not too sure. So we got a few, about a month to get our civilian economy going up in the right direction. Getting the oil would be nice. So would uh, a lot more uh, bonuses though as well. And getting the extra research slot. What oh, do we need? We don't need chromium, right? Like, we have a shit ton of chromium. Yeah. Tungsten, we need a little bit of. We are importing it, but... I think... Even plus... I think it's a plus six, which... I mean, I guess would kind of resolve our issues, but only for a very small amount of time. Until we really start getting the ball rolling on our militarization. Let's start training up two, three infantry divisions and a cavalry division. Take up all of them. You know, okay. If that's going to take all of that, then we'll just get these three infantry divisions. And we'll deploy them into Moravia. Yeah, like we probably don't need you anymore. This ability is nice. Our war support is actually kind of in the trash at the moment, which is not great. And we still have anti-German uh, anti military. Okay, Finland and the Soviets have signed a white peace. So we need to take more territory. Latvia apparently said no to uh, the ultimatum. Because apparently Latvia still exists. So we, we'll see if they do anything with that. Of course, I still want to wait a little bit more time on that. Land doctrine still being researched. Better Italians will require radios. Radar detection, atomic energy research, a little bit, a little bit ahead of time on that. Better planes? Well, again, we're not building planes right now.
You know, let's go for medium tanks. And we'll also research... Um... Better recon companies. I mean, also 1939 tanks, though. Which is a little bit ahead of time. Let's get signal companies then, 93 days. Not too, too bad. I mean, it would let us save one civilian factory, but... And the oil would be nice, but I think just getting down the steel would save us like two military or two civilian factories, which is just better. And also, we're having our uh, plus 20% resource gain because we did research both extraction one and two. Or at least I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, we did. So it's actually going to be um, about 19 steel, I think. Give or take 19 steel. Okay, so Hungary's also gone fascist. Uh, Romania hasn't. Austria's not really doing anything either. Is there a way I can just get rid of... Uh, declaration of Neutrality. No, there's nothing I can really do to get the anti-German settlement to go away. At least not that I can tell. I'm assuming we're just having to wait. But what if it like never goes away? And that, that might be possible. It might just never ever happen. Focus has no effect. Maybe it'll just like, it'll never happen. It's entirely possible that it might just like never happen. If that's the case, then I've kind of screwed myself over, but that's not my fault. That's the fault of the mod. Uh, you know, out of 50 days, we'll just actually wait until we are in 1938 and then try to get some research researches done extremely fast. So we just gonna run Latvia. Not a huge surprise. I mean, it did increase world tension, which would have been nice um, earlier because I could have been able to get my CB done a little bit faster. We actually need to get our military up very, very fast. At least, are all of our troops at least reinforced? Still, no. They're getting there, but not quite. Greece, you have 16 to 25 divisions. Albania has 3 to 5. And are being guaranteed by Italy. I like, definitely, I don't want to deal with the Italians, obviously. Okay, our war goal has finished fabricating. We have more military factories, so just pump those into infantry quit 2 for now. Yeah, okay, we're almost in 1932. Or 1938. I don't have any allies, so we'll just uh, declare the war. And they are incredibly entrenched. Oh, but they're actually moving around a little bit. Which, to me, seems like a mistake on their part. Improve existing land defenses, prioritize machine tools. No, I think it's for more... I think we're mostly fine. More building slots would be not actually that useful. Factory output goes down. You know, let's get... I mean, war propaganda is also nice, but I think we'll just hold off for now. Yeah, the garrison troops are slowly moving around. Like, they're so entrenched. Apparently, they just made a puppet state. Your borders look a little bit terrible there, uh, Soviet Union. So, I'm actually just going to fix that for you, because apparently you can't do this properly. There you go. Basically, don't let the AI do their own peace deals. They're always bad. Like, how strong is a 41% uh, bonus here? 500 defense is a ton. Like, that's... I mean, this isn't a, that's in the hills, right? It's not great. Attack 80%.
Apparently neutral means that we actually can't put sh uh, ships over here. So then you're actually not doing shit. So a uh, navy, you just hang out here, do nothing. Almost like a general offensive on the entire front line. No, it absolutely kills organization. Okay. That didn't work out so well. We just lost 17,000 men for 6,000. Not great, I will say. Increase factory shifts. No, it's more or less fine. For ten, we'll use ten civilian factories. Factory output goes down. Delmadia. I mean, they get a ton of forts, but like, the, how's that help me? I mean, Serbia also gets two forts, but I don't think that's really necessary. 